In this video, I'll show you how to create a product bundle with variation on your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight to it. So I'll show you two different examples of how we can create bundles with variation as well. This is our first example here, and this is using the AOV of a product bundle plugin. Here we're just listing out the different products within this bundle. Once a customer is happy with everything, they can just go ahead and add this bundle to their basket. The second option is using the AOV of product add-ons plugin, right? With this options here we're actually breaking up the different selections into different steps so for example the first step would be they can choose the top right you can choose any of these tops here we can move on to step two and go ahead and choose our jacket as you can imagine we can create numerous different steps right and then we can add it to our basket we've got more control in terms of pricing and conditional um, statement with this product add-ons plugin compared to the first one another cool feature we've this particular option as well is that we can actually embed this selection anywhere on our website so this gives us complete creativity freedom to how we want to actually display our bundle um, so again the first method is using the AOV of product bundles plugin and then the second method is using the AOV of product add-ons plugin so I'll leave a link to both these plugins in the description below and with that being said let's get straight into it so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and install our product bundle plugin by AOV up so I'll just install and activate this okay let's switch that to on right and now we'll navigate over to our product page okay and the idea is we'll have a parent product which is the bundle and then we'll have the child product within that bundle right so for example I'm going to create a fashion bundle so I'm going to click add new I've opened this in a new tab and essentially I'm going to add a few different products to this bundle so maybe I'll add this polo shirt to the bundle maybe this long sleeve tee product as well we'll choose this t-shirt one as well well this v-neck t-shirt because that's a variable product and that will be our bundle right and then I'll walk you through each sentence so let's say this is our fashion bundle yeah we can add a image all right for the product type we'll change this to bundled product and then we'll click on bundled products and then first we can choose our layout so we've got the layout below the fold which is the default position and then we've got it above the fold so i'll show you both in a second and now we get to choose how we want to add products to our bundle so we can add the products individually we can add a product category or so all the products from a particular product category we can automatically add to our bundle the same with product tags i'm just going to select a product here and then we'll search for our v-neck um, shirt. Um, another cool feature is we can actually choose the individual variation right of our bundle so for this v-neck t-shirt we can choose the red variation the green or blue or we can select the parent um, product right and then this will allow our customers on the front end to just choose which um, size and color and stuff like that that they want right so for example if you wanted to bundle in some of your lower selling SKUs into this bundle then you've got the option there to select the individual variation okay so let's add a few more let's go ahead and search for our hoodie product and let's add one more item let's add our polo shirt Another thing to mention is here on the quantity, it's listing out all the products that you've added here. Again, it depends on the type of bundle you want to create, right? But for example, we can create like a fixed bundle, meaning that the customer will just get whatever it is in this bundle, right? So we can say they'll get two t-shirts, they'll get one hoodie and maybe to v-neck as well right so it's up to you how you want to bundle this i'm going to leave it as it is now and we're just going to hit save changes and we'll have a look and then we'll come back and fine tune the settings and so we're going to hit publish all right so let's hit view product okay so this is our fashion bundle so far right so we've got two polo shirts so that's already pre-selected with the quantity being two and one of this and here we can actually choose the variation as well here if you're using our variation swatch plugin then the swatches will display here instead of this drop down selection so with this approach we can go ahead and add the items individually from our bundle to our cart so now we'll go ahead and fine tune everything so first i'm going to actually choose this to display um, template 2 which is above the fold let's hit save changes let's see how this looks okay so this is how it looks it doesn't look that tidy if i'm honest so we'll change a few things so let's head back here 
and let's go bundle products again so now we'll go through the individual settings um so here where it says enable add all to cart is set to no so we're going to change this to yes and we're going to hide the individual add to cart buttons again this will all depend on your needs right and um, we're going to hide the individual quantity field as well so we'll say yes we'll hide the individual prices you can display the prices it's up to you we're going to hide at the description price so we skipped over price here so currently there's no pricing option selected right so you use this option if you want customers to view the bundle and then basically go ahead and purchase individual items from that bundle more like a lookbook style right we've got the option to combine the price and then we've got the option to do a price range so we'll display the lowest price to the highest price or we can do a custom price which is what i'll do here i'll click add rule and this rules for everyone and then we'll just say it's $150 for this particular bundle to mean and they'll get two t-shirts, one hoodie and one v-neck shirt for $150. And then we can hit update. Okay, so this looks loads better. Again, the styling will depend on your theme, right? But we can customize the styling, no problem. We need to choose our v-neck option, right? So we'll say we want the blue and we want it in medium. And then we can add all these items to our basket with one single click and then just go ahead and check out. So this is using our WooCommerce product bundle plugin. Another option is we can actually use our product add-ons plugin. So let's head over to our dashboard again and let's double check if we've got it installed. Let's just go ahead and activate it. Okay, and now let's quickly create a new product. We'll say fashion bundle again. We can set our bundle price here. So if we wanted it for 150, we could say 150, or we can actually configure the price elsewhere. But let's just say 150 for now. Let's just say fashion bundle two, just so we know which is which. All right, and let's view this product. So currently it's not much of a bundle. So we can go ahead and change that now. So let's head over to our dashboard and we'll navigate over to product add-ons. We'll click create option set. Let's give this a name, it's just for internal purposes. Okay, and we wanna assign this to a specific product or category. Let's search for our product here. And let's go ahead and add a new option. Personally, I like this method. So I'll show you a few different things in which we can do with it, right? So we can create a new section. So a section's the equivalent of a new step. So we could say, for example, choose your top. Okay, and then hit save. And then we can click add option and we'll select product. And then here we can select all the tops which are available to our customers to choose. And let's add another option. Okay, and if we navigate over to option configuration here, we can specify the select type, right? So we can say single option, meaning they can only choose one option. Or we can also force them, for example, to select maybe at least two selections, right? So it's totally up to you. We can do conditional logic as well, meaning if they choose one item from one step, then maybe on the next step, we won't show them X items. So we can get super complicated with it. But we're just going to set this to select one only right and for the product as well if we wanted to increase or decrease the price of the bundle we can actually yeah we can use the price link to the product or we can say the price doesn't change meaning it's the free option or we can actually increase or decrease the price or discount the product that it's linked to so we've got loads of different options here in terms of pricing i'm going to set all these options as a no cost option right so regardless which option to choose here it will be included in that 150 dollars price so let's go to display and i'm going to navigate down to where it says options per row and we're going to display two options per row so let's hit save and then i'm going to do one more step right but obviously you can do as many steps as you want and you can actually just remove um, the steps if you just wanted everything just on one page okay and again i'm going to select product let's hit save Okay, and let's go ahead and refresh this page and let's see how everything's looking. Okay, so this is our fashion bundle so far. So we can choose any of these options here. We can choose our jacket. And then once we're happy with everything, we can go ahead and add this to our basket, right? So because I've linked these last two options to the product price, we can see that it's an additional charge here of $45. And we can customize the wording as well.